To download and get Fikid working, set up an account with the username, password, and email here. After you download Fikid, then you want to download the JoJo Band ROM, which is the heritage for the future ROM. Extract the Fikid zip folder. And then put the zipped ROM of Jojo Band in the ROMs folder. After that, open Ficade. Next, when you have the Ficade lobby open, you will have to locate the Jojo Desire Adventure Lobby. If the title is white, congratulations, you got the game working. If the title is not white, then click on settings and then locate ROMs folder. From there, you will have to find your Ficade ROMs folder and then click Select Folder. If you still for some reason you cannot get it to work, then you could download the Jojo Ficade in the description. This has Ficade and Jojo Band already together properly, so just extract and log in and you're good to go. There is also the non-BGM ROM that mutes all the music. Just download the non-BGM ROM, then rename the ROM back to Jojo Band or else a ROM will not work. Then put the ROM in the ROMs folder and launch the game. Just accept the error message and you are good to go. God bless Yoko. To challenge someone on Fightcade, you can either type slash challenge and then their name or simply double click on their name. You can also set yourself away if you do not want to have any challenge requests, but you can challenge other people. You could type in slash play to play the game offline, or just double click on yourself. In game, there will be a top menu where you can configure the settings. First off will be controls, known as map game inputs. To change the inputs, just double click on the input and change it. The corner start button are needed to start the game. This game uses four buttons to play, weak, medium, and heavy punch along with weak kick as the stand button. You can also set the th times 3 punch and the times 3 kick macros as well. If they do not open after double clicking, there is a fix that will be shown later. Reset is to reset the game entirely. It is only accessible for player 1. When the game is reset, each player must input coin and then input start for each player to return back to the character select screen. Next will be the video settings. The blurry settings will be originally be set to basic. To make your game have smoother graphics, just click on the enhanced setting. From there, the blur options will have much more stuff. After that, you just set the soft FX algorithm to the HQ4X filter, making the game look much better now. You can also change the video shred settings as well. To change the region of the game to have semen blood, English text, and censorship, I mean censorship, just go to the game and then to set dip switches. Click on the region and then change it. Here is a visualization of how to unlock the secret characters in the game. F2 and then go down to the seventh option in the menu and then go down to the second option in that menu and then input up, down, right, left, Weak punch, medium punch, heavy punch, and then light kick. When you hear the sound effect, then you want to exit out of the menu by going down to the last option on both screens, which later saves it, and upon resetting the game with F3, then you will have the secret characters unlocked. Now if any of the time 3 macro inputs are not opening, there is a fix to this. Set one of the user's inputs, like medium or heavy kick, as a supposed input for the time stream macro. Then in the fight kit folder, go to the config folder, and then go to the games folder, and then to the jojoband.ini. 
Open JojoBand.ini with Notepad, and then you can copy and paste from your input from the kicks to the actual time stream macro input. Save it, and then exit out. Upon entering the map game inputs, the macros will have the correct inputs for you. The Jojo Bizarre Adventure Heritage for the Future Discord server. If you're in it, read everything under the important category. Each channel has vital information that will help you in the server and not make you look like an embarrassment if you ask a question that is already answered in one of the channels. Another equally important thing to do is to read the pins of each channel. The pins contain incredibly important information or videos that will help you in the server as well as in the game. The Palomar channel is great if you want to change your characters or HUD's colors. Look at the pins and watch Alice's pal modding video. The same applies to the rest of the other channels. ROM hacking is another neat channel in the server where you can see the ROM hackers of the game change up the game a bit. Like the most recent change of having a full jacket deal, but it removed new cat and rubber soul from the game. These type of things are always underway, so be on the lookout for such things. There isn't an exact trading mode for this game, but there is a mod for it. The best one is in this video from Zareth, a training mod that emulates a training mode for this game in FBARR, thanks to Peon2 and others. The video is in the description. It perfectly explains all about the new and improved training mode for this game. To download the better training mode, there are two links in the description, the FBARR emulator and Peon2's LUA file. Then extract files for the FBA emulator and then extract here for the LUA file. Then copy and paste the LUA file in the FBA folder just to keep it safe. Then copy and paste the JoJo Band ROM into the ROMs folder. When that is done, boot up the emulator. After scanning for ROMs and adding in more files, you will be presented to this window. First, boot up the game. And then load the training mode LUA script after you locate it. You will see some important information in the little text area. Be sure to read all of it and understand the information that comes with it. Map game inputs for each player, even with the medium and heavy kick, since those will be important for the training mode. And then set up a two player game. Your training mode is now set. Remember, do not set your video settings to anything but basic. The LOA script will not load and may lead to a potential crash. Other than that, be sure to check out Sarah's video about it for more information on how to utilize the training mode. The previous way to get the training mode was to use regular FBA emulator. Now it is practically useless to use that now, in sense of how outdated it is compared to the new training mode. If you're curious about the old training mode, check out my training mode video from way back when in the description. Under the Useful Resource channel, you will find the JoJo Band Wiki, the most helpful resource you can find for the game. Due to Sand Crash being outdated and Event Hubs just sucks, the community has brought together the new and improved JoJo Band Wiki. It provides character guides, tier lists, matchups, battle modding, etc. The beginners of the game, be sure to check out the numpad notation slash combo notation guide page and reading about the system mechanics. Even EX Falcon's video is also found here. A fantastic video for beginners to learn about the game, a must watch for new players. You can even find my section in the wiki under Whole Horse and Boingo's character page in the trivia section as I wrote a report on the Boingo cloning glitch.
In the Fight Kick website, you can access two important things. You can find your replays as well as find your own Fight Kid profile. In the Replays website, you can search for your name and access your own replays of your previous game sessions. Just clicking on the challenge link will show you your full replay of your game. You can only watch it, but not able to pause, rewind, nor fast forward the replay. No, watching the replay of the game is like spectating a match on Fight Kid. You can also access your 5K profile from clicking on your name in the Replays website and it will link you to your own profile. Here you can see the amount of hours you spent on 5K on each game and see your replays. If you forget your own 5K password, it can be reset by entering your username and email in this website. From there, you can reset your password and get your account back from the forgotten. The tournaments are always announced in the announcements channel. When there is a tournament announced, a challenge link will be presented. After that, you can sign up for the tournament after making an account. When you make an account, local time zone will be displayed on when the check-ins and when the tournament begins. When the check-ins are announced, check in the tourney on the challenge page, and now you're in the tournament. Simple as that. The stream will be live on the JoJo Weekly tournaments unless other Twitch channels are streaming it. It will always be in the announcements channel. So be patient and sign in. Also, remember to subscribe to JoJo Weekly Tournament if you want to make Zareth a happy boy.